I loved everything about that book. So that was a great beginning. But, but reading objective accounts about the life take you so far most of what is, becomes more interesting to me at a certain moment is, uh, is, the, is to try and grow towards a subjective understanding of, of that man's experience, um, whoever it may be. Um, and in that case, the legacy of his writing was hugely important. You get such a sense of him through it's wonderful, not just his speeches, but also uh, stories that he told, um, and there are many contemporary accounts of those stories, which are, one assumes are fairly accurate. I mean, give or take, um, but um, but to get a sense of his thought and the movement through his thought towards a conclusion, um, that's a unique uh, treasure, really, to have to have that available. It's the man himself that invites you because he was so open. And that was one of the most beautiful surprises of getting to know him was, was um, the, how <laughs> insanely accessible that man was. At the time, it was actually physically very dangerous, in his case, to be accessible. But the White House was you know, an ever-open door. People could come and go. See, I think it was Seward that probably finally said enough already um, uh, because his, his uh, open houses were just, just, it was bedlam in there. And he was accessible um, and, and uh, some part of him was. Um, so that, that became an opening in a way, I think. You one almost felt welcomed. Um, uh, and so really uh, he put me at my ease, uh, strangely. <laughs> Having first made me very uneasy, it was him that put me at my ease and gave me the thought that, well, maybe I could try to do this. In such a rich way had Tony already um, suggested the man through his intellect, through his humor, through his melancholy, uh, both domestically and in public office. Um, the contrast between those two things, which is always uh, something that's like food and drink to me. You see somebody that is, that is, uh, who, who's, whose life is lived at one and the same time in that strange paradox of public and private. The best thing I can say is that it was easy. I mean, it just, it was what it needed to be uh, in the very best sense. Um, I enjoyed every moment uh, that I spent in her company, even when we were tearing each other's eyes out. I enjoyed every moment of that um, because uh, she was real to me. Tommy Lee Jones, who I, have not worked with before, and um, apart from a shake of the hand, I'm not sure that we really had a conversation outside of the work, but uh, it was, uh, you know, it's it, in, 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 I don't expect to have a day's work that excites me as much as that day did. He seemed so completely open and fluid and uh, trustful of, uh, the work, and I'd, I'd say that was true of every working relationship in the film. Not quite sure what to do with yourself when it's finished. The investment has usually, for most of us, been a, if not total, then close to total investment of that period of our lives in the process of telling that particular story. So it's very hard to conceive of any kind of a life after it. Of course, there is one waiting, usually quite impatiently. Um, but in this particular case, I felt two things at one and the same time. One was a sense of immeasurable uh, privilege at having been enabled to explore that man's life. And the other directly as a result of that was a sense of, of great sadness and loss that, that that time 
allowed me was now over. Um, because he did become, for me, there's never been a human being that I never met that I loved as much as him, ever. I doubt there ever will be. Each day, uh, certainly on this, um, presented great challenges, and that's the food and drink for all of us. That's why we love to do it. But it's, but um, I think it's, um, I think it's a mistake to uh, allow any sense of self-importance to creep in about what you're doing. Of course, you're, if you began to think about the subject that you're taking on, in the case of Lincoln, you'd, you'd never get out of bed. You would just let somebody else do it. Um, so in a way, I think you have to, uh, I think you create for yourself a certain irreverence. It's not disrespectful, but it's just necessary to be able to do the work. It's just open, uh, open. The best thing anyone can ever be in any creative workplace is open and, and to, to, to have that, um, that degree of openness uh, alongside his sense of structure is a, is a, a pretty powerful combination. Um, because he can do the structural work standing on his head. Um, I think that, I don't know if it comes easily. It may, he makes it seem like all <laughs> great men, he, he makes it seem as if it comes easily.